What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this series we will be making a zombie AI in Unreal Engine 4. This series is inspired from games such as The Last of Us, as we'll be incorporating a distraction system where we can throw objects to distract zombies. There'll be different types of zombies, for example there'll be zombies which can't see, but can run really fast, so that's similar to the clickers on The Last of Us, and there'll of course be general types of zombies in more common games. So we're just going to get started, um, and as all my series start, we're going to start here with the Unreal Project Browser, and we're going to be using the third person template. So you can give this project whatever name you want, I'm just going to leave this as my project, and we're going to go ahead and make it. Now what this is going to do is it's going to add all of the files which we need. Uh, if you have any starter content, this is going to add it now. Alright, so when we load into the editor, we're going to see a bunch of things. Your layout may be slightly different, but everything you should be seeing on the default layout should be here. It's just in a different location, but uh, it should be easy to find what goes where. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we are going to get rid of a few things from our third person character. For example, we don't need the touch input controls and we don't need the VR uh, button there. So that should be it. So let's go and compile that, and now we've got a base character and we are ready to get on with making our AI files. So if you go into the root directory or the content folder, which is where all of your files are stored, so you've got the geometry, the mannequin for the uh, character, the third person folder which, which stores all of the uh, geometry uh, for the third person example map, and the third person BP folder, which has the map inside of it and the player controller. But we'll be making a new folder and we're just going to call this AI. So inside of this one, what we're going to do is we are going to need about four things. And then in later episodes, we're going to add more things uh, in terms of uh, the, AI, the AI's uh, behavior tree functionality. But there's four things we need from the get-go. So the first thing we need is an AI controller. And you can get this AI controller by right-clicking on the, on the uh, content browser and going to Blueprint Class. Now you won't see it here, but what we're going to do is open up this drop-down menu. It's collapsed, so you just have to press on this sideways triangle here and search up AI controller. Here we go. So AI controller, we're going to add that one and select. Now it's going to ask us for a name. I'm just going to name this zombie controller. There we go. And you're going to go and save that. And what, you're, and what we also need is a uh, AI character. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Blueprint class again, and we're going to do character. And what I'm going to call this is zombie zombie character. Though, so what's going to happen is our is our zombie AI controller is going to control our character. So we don't need any input controls because the AI does it automatically and we don't need to uh, set up any possession. So again, go ahead and save that. Now we need two things relating to the AI. So we need a blackboard and a behavior tree. So we're gonna go and do the behavior tree first. So if we go over to artificial intelligence, we see these two options here. So the first one we're gonna do is our behavior tree. So what I'm gonna call this is Zombie BT and BT stands for behavior tree. And um, I'm going to save that. There we go. And when we open up this, we're going to have a root and nothing else. That's fine. We're going to leave that blank for this episode. We're just going to get everything set up. Uh, and if we go over here to the details panel, you should see a behavior tree and it's going to ask for a blackboard asset. So that's what we're going to make next. So if you go up here to new blackboard, we're going to make this. And then it should make one somewhere here. There we go. So if you just um, minimize this for the time being, it's going to make a blackboard in the same folder as the behavior tree. And we're going to name this zombie bb for blackboard. There we go. So save that. Just uh, referencing my notes here. Okay, cool. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add our mesh to our zombie character. And of course, uh, for the time being, 
uh, this zombie isn't going to look very scary, but once we get some characters from Mixamo, I think it's going to look awesome. <laughs> but um, so we've got nothing here, so you'll see the arrow, you've got the collision capsule. But if you go onto the hierarchy here, you'll see mesh. And what you want to do is you want to select the mesh, and we are going to go navigate to the details panel, and we are going to add our SK underscore mannequin skeletal mesh. Now what this is going to do is this is going to get our fellow here, so he looks pretty smart, uh, and we are going to rotate him about 90 degrees, there we go, oh, it's not exactly 90, it's just a bit over it, 90, there we go, and we are going to bring him down to around negative 90 as well, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do about 90 there, awesome. So what we need to do now is we need to give our character an Anim BP. So for the time being, we are going to be using the third person Anim BP. But later on, we'll be adding our characters. So that means we'll be adding our new animations from Mixamo. It's going to look fantastic. But for the time being, we're just going to use our third person Anim BP, which is the same Anim BP we use for our player controller. So what we're going to do here is make sure that our mesh is selected. We're going to go over to Anim class under the animations tab. We're going to go and select third person and BP. Now, when you select this, you may need to compile it, but sometimes you don't need to, but sometimes you do. What it's going to do is it's going to add the idle animation. Now, what this is going to do is it's directly referencing from the blend space. And as we are at a speed of zero at the moment, it's just going to go in the idle. It's a pretty nifty way of how blend spaces uh, and Alan BPs work. But at the moment, we've just got our idle animation. So, next what we need to do is we need to add our sensors. I don't believe it's on here, I think it's on our control. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do now is we are just gonna make sure that this is all saved. And we're gonna exit out of that. And we're gonna go into our zombie controller. And from here, we are gonna uh, set up our sensors so the AI can hear and see. So if we go over here and select from the add components, it's the green button up here, and we wanna find our sensors, I think it's called sense. Or is it called stim stimuli? So yeah, so AI perception stimuli. No, no, that's not what we want. We want an AI perception. I think it's called that. AI per perception, yeah. So it's not the stimuli source that goes on to our character later on. But we just want to set up our AI perception here. You can leave that as it is, so AI perception, make sure that's compiled, saved. And we're going to want to select our AI perception here and then go into our details panel. So now this is where we're going to set up our zombie sensors. So what we want to do here is we want to add two of our sensors. So on the uh, sensors config, you're going to see zero array elements. We, we want to add two elements to this. So here we go, so zero and one. And for our first sense, which is uh, zero, array start at zero, so that's why it's called zero, uh, we want to add the site config. And then for our secondary, we want to add our hearing. So, this, so the zombie can now hear and see. Uh, we won't be doing the hearing until later on, but for the seeing, uh, it's going to be fairly simple to set up. <laughs> Uh, for the dominant sense, what, what we're going to do is we are going to just make our dominant sense the uh, sight. Uh, you can sort of assume, like zombies, they're not very good at hearing because they're all infected, uh, but they can see well. So uh, that's ready to go. Um, now from here, what we want to do is we want to tell our controller to use the behavior tree that we've previously made. So we're going to go here to event graph and oh, we need event begin play. Play. So we so we want to get event begin play, and then from off this we 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 want to drag off and uh, run our behavior tree. There we go. Yeah, the target is the AI controller, and from here we can select any BT asset which we've got. And what Unreal Engine does is it looks through the content folder and it finds all of the behavior trees and it lists them here. And so we found the behavior tree we set up here. There we go. So you can compile that and save that. Now there is one more thing I believe I have to do in terms of the controller. Uh, I need to make sure, I, there we go. Cool. Right, so 
on our character, what we want to do is we want to make sure that the character uses the AI controller instead of looking for a, a input controller. So it should be down here somewhere. Uh, we are looking for AI controller. Auto uh, possess AI. What we want to do is just under this as AI controller class, we want to select our zombie controller. Okay, so now we've got our zombie character and our zombie controller completely set up. So if we were to drag it into the world, it it's it, it's going to do nothing. But here it is, just standing still. He doesn't look very scary at the moment, but uh, I'm sure in in good time he'll look very very spooky. Okay, so there's one more thing we need to do in terms of our in in terms of our player character. What we want to do is we want to add in a stimuli source. So for the uh, AI controller, what we did was we added a, a, a AI perception. And the AI perception is the sense. And now we want to add a source for the sense. Uh, and the source of the sense is going to come from our character for a start, for the sight and the hearing. Then when we add projectiles for when you chuck something and it lands, it's going to make a sound. Uh, that's going to be the source of another stimuli, and then the zombie's going to walk towards that. I can just get rid of those two. Okay, so when we go into our third person BP, what we want to do is we want to go to our blueprints, third person character. Here we go. And we want to add another component to this. So we're going to add a component. I'm going to do a stimuli source. Here we go. So this is the one we want. So a stimuli source. If we compile that and save that. There we go. It should automatically name it. You don't really need to change the name unless you've got multiple uh, things. In fact, no, actually, you only need one. So now we need to add our our sources. What we want to do is we just want to add our two sources, so the hearing and the seeing. Well, the sound and the sight. So what we're going to do is just on the register as source for sensors, we want to add two of these. And on the zero, we are going to add our, our sight. And on the second one, we are going to add our hearing. So now, when the character makes noise, when it walks, um, it, it's going to attract attention of the zombies. And also, um, when the zombie physically sees the uh, player, uh, they are going to be drawn towards them again. Make sure to compile that and save that. There we go. Now, um, oh yeah. There is one last thing we need to do on our AI controller. I completely forgot this. We actually need to set up how the sources work, I mean, the sensors work on the controller. Here we go. So if we go onto our, our AI perception um, component here, and for our site configuration, what we're going to do is just, in fact, we can probably leave all of this as the same. Um, right, okay. So that should be nice. Uh, but on our sensors, I um, mean for our hearing sense, what we're going to do is we're going to give this an age. So uh, let's set 10. So 10 seconds. Or 10 ticks, I think it is. So if there's no change in the stimuli uh, source, or if the zombie can't see it um, after the sound has been made, it's just going to ignore it and go back to whatever it's doing. And that should be it for that. There we go. Awesome. So we can exit out all that. Save that. And save all that. So that is it for the first episode. So what we've done is we've set up our behavior tree and our blackboard. So this is just the foundations for the AI logic and how it behaves. We've also set up our character for the zombie and as well as our controller. So we are going to go into a bit more complex stuff in the next episode. Um, adding on nav mesh bounds, so it allows the, the zombie to uh, walk around an area. That's going to be when we tell it to go to a location. That's it for this episode. I hope you did enjoy, and as always, I'll see you in the next episode.